What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we focus on the top teams that have made it through to the Rugby World Cup quarterfinal stage. Yes, we are nearly there. It is actually absolutely insane how quick this World Cup has gone, but what a World Cup it's been. We've seen amazing performances from top teams. We've seen upsets from teams we didn't think would win, but it's been an incredible World Cup, lived up to its expectations, and it's only gonna get better from here, and that honestly excites me so much. So if you're new here, haven't yet hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, join a family, because I'm covering it all, and as the quarterfinals appear, I will be streaming every quarterfinal, and and it's gonna be insane. Hit that subscribe button, join the family, and let's get through to today's topic. We start off with none other than the All Blacks, New Zealand. You gotta start off with them. They were the favorites when they came into the World Cup. Absolutely have done what they needed to do in order to get to the quarterfinal stage. They beat South Africa, Canada, and Namibia convincingly. They are playing like champions. They are looking good. They've done so many interesting things within the team, mixing players around, starting uh, Bowden Barrett at fullback, having Richie Mwanga um, start off. We've seen uh, Jordy Barrett um, in his fly-off. We've seen all the Barrett brothers playing. It's been great rugby from the All Blacks. Yes, it's been the odd hiccup here and there, but they've totally dominated and are just brilliant. And when they hit the force against whoever the teams are in the quarterfinals, it is going to be an absolutely incredible game because those knockouts are going to be absolutely epic and I cannot wait to witness the incredible games that we're going to see in this knockout stage. So All Blacks obviously are definitely favourites to still go on. They remain dangerous in all areas of the game. They completely dominate um, the, the, the packs, the kicks, the, the, the set pieces, they are just brilliant. Their turnover, turnover game, also solid. I mean, come on, they're a force. So they are definitely a top team to look out for. Then we got England. England's path through the Rugby World Cup since 2015 has been so much better. The improvement has been top notch. They've literally looked strong. Again, when they've played against the, the, the weaker teams, they haven't won as convincingly as one would have thought, especially against Tonga. But they've put in the effort, they've put in the, the work in order to get to those pool stages and get through it all. They've got France later this week, so that's going to be pretty much their big tester um, in this Rugby World Cup. So it will be interesting to see how they play out. They dominate in Namibia. Um, which was unfortunate. I was expecting a competitive game, but that wasn't the case. Um, England totally dominated that. And I mean, the, the teams within uh, is just brilliant. I mean, you've got playmakers like Owen Farrell and George Ford, who at 10 and 12 really can do exciting things to, to, to cause such havoc in the Rugby World Cup. And England are going to face the All Blacks in this semi-final stage if they get through. And that is going to be one hell of a game to, to, to witness, to, to see how they're going to play it about. Um, but Eddie Jones at the helm with Owen Farrell as leader, um, it's a solid team that will just go through and really be a threat. I think England's tails are definitely up in the Rugby World Cup and um, they will be wanting to prove um, the critics and the doubt is wrong. And um, the right, they're looking, they're a threat. You cannot count them out. Don't care who you are. You've got to be nervous of England. Next up, going to my home country, South Africa, who beat Canada um, recently, and it was an epic game. They've had a decent amount of, um, of quality games with Renith. Namibia, I had a few question marks in the first half, but South Africa seemed to have redeemed themselves. Obviously, against the All Blacks, uh, we, we, we didn't win, but um, they put in a solid effort. And um, we can only blame ourselves for that one. If we concentrated on our handling errors and um, just not concentrating on what's ahead of us at the game, our set pieces weren't right. Um, if we just got that right, we would have given the All Blacks a bit more of a headache. But 23-13 defeat, not the greatest memory we want to live on. But hey, that's group stages. We've gotten through the all-important group stage. Um, and, and we're second, so we're either going to meet Japan or, or, or Ireland, um, which could be an intense final leading up to probably Wales um, in the semis, which could be bloody scary as hell. 
But overall, from the Springboks' point of view, I've been proud of what they've achieved, what they've brought to the party. Yes, there's still a lot that we need to work on from with regards to development and handling errors and all that jazz, but and, and also box kicking. But what I saw against Canada really gave me hope. And I know everyone's going to say, oh, don't get your hopes up. It's only Canada. But the fact that we were improving, getting um, the ball under pressure and all that stuff really uh, ticks a few boxes for me. So I'm happy. I'm looking forward to seeing what South Africa have to produce in the quarterfinal stage. Um, don't count us out yet, guys. It's gonna. The World Cup is, is still up for grabs for anyone. Speaking of anyone, we go going to Wales. Six Nations Grand Slam champions opened their account with an amazing victory, 43-14 over Georgia, which was absolutely outstanding. They beat um, Australia in an absolutely edging game, 29-25, pretty much setting the pace at number one of their um, thrilling match and of their, their group stage, which was well done to Wales. Um, Australia had their moments definitely to a lot of ref talk and all that jazz but overall wales did win that game and looked solidly um in, in it um so what they need to do is just keep going at the momentum that they're moving with they're a great nation with great with great players i mean a damn bigger um scoring the drop goals surprising us a bit was brilliant. Rice Patchwell also showed a lot of character when he replaced him against that Australian team. So it, it was solid. And um, the players within the Welsh squad really are stepping up and growing and developing. Before the World Cup, they had an amazing time. 14-match uh, winning streak. Grand Slam Six Nations champions. Fell short against Ireland. Um, lost the streak to England. But they've definitely redeemed themselves. And for... For a threat for, for all other nations, Wales have been a tight-knit squad for at least 10 years now. They've got a solid leadership base in Captain Jones, as well as Gatlin, who's been around for so long. So you can't count out Wales just yet. They're a threat, and they are going to, to cause a few headaches in this Rugby World Cup. And I'm excited to see what they have in store for us in the Rugby World Cup. Next up, we've got Australia. I mean, come on, they, the, the discipline has been a problem for them. Um, a few shocking tackles here and there. Uh, two yellow cards, 12 penalties against Uruguay, not too great uh, for them. But um, they've had their moments where they've looked impressive. And again, going back to Wales, there were opportunities there. But discipline, discipline um, cost them a bit. But again, they've won their matches. They've shown a little bit of... More improvement as to where they were a couple of years back. I mean, by the year ago, they weren't in the greatest place. They didn't have the greatest um, rugby championship, but they scored 16 tries in three may, uh, three matches, six by wingers, three by centres, and one from a fullback, showing that they're definitely capable of striking it wide. So they need to really continue with that going forward if they're wanting to get anywhere in this Rugby World Cup. Um, it's not going to be easy. But um, they really need to just take each game at w one at a time and just uh, play to the best of their abilities. Can they win the World Cup? I, I don't think so. But hey, Australia are a, a very experienced team in these kind of situations. And when we get to the quarterfinals, you could just see a team just click and um, pull something out of the bag and, and create something special. So you can never write the Aussies off. And I'm definitely not doing that. Next up, we have France. I mean, come on, France... They got in their big playoff game against Argentina. They got a big one against England this upcoming weekend. Always tough to win France play England, but it's definitely going to be an exciting contest. Um, from 20 to 3 up against Argentina, they hung on to a win. Argentina just missed out. They also nearly lost to Tonga, uh, which leading a game 17 0 and to scrape it. 23-21 doesn't give me a lot of confidence for France as they progress to the Rugby World Cup. So I don't see them going further than the quarterfinal stage. But hey, just like Australia, they're an unpredictable squad that can cause a headache or two. Um, they've been experienced in finals. So um, again, you can't quite write them off, but I just don't see France progressing. So uh, next up, we've got Ireland. Ireland really arrived at the World Cup World number one. Um, didn't last on long because New Zealand took it back from them. 
but they started off solidly getting their game against Scotland 27-3 in, in a great performance from Ireland looking looking great but then was the shock 19-12 uh, defeat to Japan which wasn't too great for Ireland but a cracking cracking game I mean Ireland played great rugby Japan just played better on the day um, so they're sitting at a situation where we worried about um, the typhoon but apparently it's missing them, which is good for them. So they're pretty much playing Samoa next. Should beat Samoa, convincingly. So you, you'd expect them to, to end off strongly. If Japan beat Scotland, Japan go top, then um, Ireland play New Zealand. Um, but at this stage, if Ireland stay top, they will play South Africa. So looking forward to that battle. It's going to be exciting. But um, Ireland had a lot of injuries, but the, the guys are recovering and training back. So they're definitely going to be a threat. I'm, I'm nervous for Ireland. Uh, we've got to watch out for them. And then last but not least, the hosts, Japan. Who would have thought we'll be talking about Japan reaching the quarter finals? Absolutely amazing. I couldn't be happier for them. They're a great little nation with so much heart. The crowd has been brilliant. They have been brilliant. Will they get past? Hey, anything's possible. They beat South Africa before. They sure as hell can beat them again. They're playing in the semi-finals, uh, quarter-finals. So, hey, anything can happen. Japan, New Zealand, that could be quite an entertaining game too. But um, at this stage, we wouldn't say they'll get past it. But you never know. But amazing achievement for Japan to reach the quarterfinals. 100% all congratulations to them. Couldn't be happier. So there we have it. The top teams in the Rugby World Cup. What a lineup! Japan, Ireland, France, Scotland, uh, Scotland, Australia, South Africa, Wales, England and the Mighty All Blacks. It is going to be epic. This quarterfinal is going to be awesome. I will be streaming. I will be predicting. I will be recapping every single game. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join me on the journey. Let me know your thoughts on the top teams. Could we see an upset in the quarterfinal? That's my question for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys real soon for another one. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.